It starts with a police officer pulling over a black man because of a headlight being out. And then this, and then it snowballs into where literally we see men who are those same men incarcerated for their entire lives because of also how our sentencing guidelines have been, have, have been set up. just about even just those who are in prison. It's the effect and the stigma that it has on those individuals for the rest of their lives. happening because the U.S. has never faced in an effective way the truth. It has never effectively faced our past that has led to this present moment. The, the problem hasn't only been that we enslaved our Black population and have oppressed and discriminated against them for four centuries. That's not the only problem. It's that even after the Civil War, we continue to create systems that pushed down our Black population and oppressed them. It starts actually when the, that first infraction happens, when a police officer first arrests or pulls over or questions the Black individual or the Hispanic individual or the person of color. How that interaction goes, how that record is recorded. What does the jury of your peers look like? What does the jury of, the, of America's peers look like when we're becoming a majority minority country? What, who are our judges? How, how do our judges feel empathy? How do they exist in the world? The majority of our judges are white men. They're not people of color. They haven't walked in the shoes of the majority of the prison population of that 56%. We have to do with, with folks is to ask them to be a part of the solution. And when you ask someone and you invite someone to be a part of the solution and let them come, I've seen this so many times, to come forward and say, you know, I am a part of the problem. But it's much, it's much better for them to come forward and say that rather than you saying that. with the Nashville Police Department, raising awareness, letting people understand their bias. And this leads me to another point, and that is this. I don't believe in shaming people. I think we have to create space for people to evolve. I think we have to create space for people to be humble and to seek humility without humiliating them. We change the narrative about the other. We humanize rather than dehumanize. We flip disinformation and misinformation and, and misinformation campaigns on their head by bringing truth to people and asking them to see each other's humanity and asking them to think about and to visualize what a future together looks like.